What's up guys, how's it going? It's Kyle Olson here. I am a realtor and Airbnb investor. So today I wanna to talk about the recession and Airbnb investing as a whole. If you watch my last video, I go over where I think investing in real estate might be a good idea if you're looking at short-term rentals and the location. So if you haven't seen it, go back, watch it. And while you're at it, maybe subscribe, maybe give me a little like on this video. Um, but today I wanted to talk about this article that I saw and how they go over the Great Recession and what Airbnb might do during the recession. We'll talk about travel, we'll talk about airlines, car rentals, et cetera, et cetera, and what we should do. So let's get into it. So this article from Seeking Alpha actually relates to the stock price and what the stock price is going to do. But I thought this gentleman had some good insight in regards to going back and looking at the Great Recession, what happened to travel. So let's look into it. How did the travel industry perform during the Great Recession? Airbnb relies on consumers, travel hosts, location, revenue, say, therefore, we should analyze how travel industry performed during recent economic downturns. He talks about first airlines saw a huge decrease in fundamentals share price during 2008. So since consumers were spending less money, airlines were running less flights from 2007 to 2009 domestic passenger implements fell by 9% while international fell by 6.5%. It shows a little graph. And then he gets into car rentals, which I think is very interesting because obviously if you're flying somewhere, you're probably gonna rent a car. Car rental industry tells a recession during the great recession, Avis and Hertz. Avis felt cut workforce by 7%, Hertz net income fell by 94% and rental car companies filed for bankruptcy. So let's see what else he talks about. Airbnb is becoming too expensive for many consumers. Um, let's see what he says. So he talks about how Airbnb adds extra fees. So when you're all said and done, you're actually paying more for the Airbnb than you were, would a hotel, but he's missing the point here. So we'll go over this article real quick, a little bit more, and then we will rebuttal. All right, so these are headlines I love to see. Airbnb report, reports most profitable Q2 ever and validates AirDNA's data accuracy. Good job, AirDNA, for actually predicting what will happen. The numbers are officially in and Airbnb reported, reported record profitability during the second quarter of 2022 with an all-time quarterly high of 103.7 million nights booked. Holy smokes. Nights booked were up 25% year over year and 24% versus the same pre-pandemic period in 2019. So pre-pandemic people were still booking Airbnbs, but this just goes to show even after a pandemic, people are getting more custom to Airbnb and they prefer Airbnb over your traditional hotel. So going back to the other article that I just showed you, it goes to show that even though maybe there might be some other fees involved with the Airbnb, people are traveling in groups and prefer to stay with their friends and family and book an Airbnb and have it as their own. They don't want to be bothered. They want to do their own thing. They want to bring their own food. They want to barbecue. They want to go do their own thing and be around family and friends and pay that little extra bit of money. And plus, if you're dividing it by, let's say, five people, it's a lot It's a lot cheaper than it would be for everyone to get their own hotel room. Of course, you already knew this. AirDNA's own estimates were closely aligned with Airbnb's final earnings within 2% of actual performance. Great job. So you, right here, you can see revenue difference. Okay, that's AirDNA estimate consensus. So the second quarter of 2022 demonstrates we have achieved growth and profitability at scale. Airbnb CEO Brian Chesky said in the report over the last year, we generated 2.9 billion in free cash flow and our Q2 revenue is up more than 70% since Q2 2019. Our strength this quarter is the result of our ability to stay focused and disciplined while continuing relentlessly to innovate. So average daily rates grew 1.7% year over year to 164. That's good. It's showing that um, hosts are increasing their nightly stays and making more money. 
as things get more expensive. So supplies for the house, they're getting more expensive. So what do hosts need to do? They need to raise their nightly rate to keep up with that inflation. Steady demand caused the number of active listings for non-urban destinations to grow by nearly 50% versus Q2 2019. Meanwhile, total active listings grew 23% versus 2019. This compares to a 26% increase reported by AirDNA. We show active listings reached 6.2 million in Q2 2022. Large cities and urban markets in the U.S. continue to lag. Okay, so here's a chart. Booking pace declines in June. So after going over these articles, you can see that there's fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the world with Airbnb. And Airbnb just proved to show that they are growing tremendously and the consumer is not stopping. So a huge thing with recessions is that a lot of people think that people just hoard cash and sometimes that's true but the last great recession we saw people were walking away from houses and right now we still have a lot of jobs and yeah sure people are losing some jobs here and there which i deeply feel sorry for but there's still plenty of jobs out there and people are making more money than ever what i think is happening is that you have the middle class shrinking and more people going up and more people going down so there's a greater divide which is unfortunate but you still see people out there spending money on airbnbs and wanting to travel so if things get worse i do think that you should go watch my last video and watch where i suggest where you should potentially invest in an str if a recession does get worse but if you're anything like me you're still feeling the pain of inflation and things being more expensive but i wanted to go over these articles real quick just because i think it's important to actually look at the data and what airbnb is doing so if you're thinking about purchasing an airbnb right now might be the best time to purchase an airbnb just depending on where you think the consumer will go if money does get tighter for the consumer but let me know what you guys think in the comments if you think airbnb is a bad idea right now or if it's still a good idea i mean if you're still getting a 10 percent cash on cash return i don't know where else you can get that of course airbnb is a business in itself and it does take a lot to run an airbnb successfully if you watch my other videos you can kind of see what i suggest as an airbnb host that you do if you're just getting into the airbnb space so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and consider liking this video thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one